Hello and welcome to this video guide for students and parents of Akram Grange School on how to use our new eSchools website which is our digital learning environment. Our students and parents can use this from home and you can also check out the, the app video that I, we've created uh, which also lets you uh, get most of this information from your smartphone. But we're going to head in and log into the website. Now there are two different logins here, one for parents and one for students. Students see a little bit more information and they see their information on their lesson resources and their classes. And I'm going to show you that now. Um, as a parent, if you want to see that information, then get your son or daughter to log in and they, you'll be able to see a little bit more information when they're logged in. Okay, we're going to head up to the top of the menu bar here. Uh, and you can see there are a number of different um, options in the blue menu bar. Uh, you can also see then that some of the modules on the front page are there for ease of access. You have the calendar there, uh, you have the homework tab, you've got the inbox, attendances here, any events and the timetable for quick, easy access. I'm just going to head up to the menu bar again, and if we click on messages here, and what you will see is it goes to the messages inbox, and this is primarily used for students to students, but also staff to students. And it's a real safe and secure way for staff to uh, post announcements to their class or reminders uh, about homeworks or equipment they need to bring uh, or anything they need to read or anything like that where actually real safe and secure communication is needed between a teacher and a class. Uh, and that's very easy for us to do uh, in this forum. You can then move across and you have the email for the students to use. They have their OneDrive where they can actually upload files and, st and store their files in the cloud. Uh, they have their timetable here. Um, so if I just click on the timetable, you can see very easily uh, we can scroll through the weeks at the top here and we can see exactly where they need to be and when they need to be and you can see if I go back to right now uh, the green is the is, is highlighted as wh which lesson they're in now and the orange is where they need to be next. Calendar uh, is populated for, uh, for parents to see the whole school calendar which is really easy and you can access that from the app as well. Um, and what I really want to show is the two things towards the right hand side and the first one is projects and if I click on the projects tab this is a really, really useful feature in eSchools and something we are developing at the moment and more and more information and resources are coming online uh, every day. Uh, and what it allows teachers to do is to give access to all the lesson resources, all the lesson presentations, uh, PowerPoint presentations, uh, whatever it may be that they're teaching. So that actually students and as parents, you can use this information at home uh, to really improve the learning um, and, and to, you know, if you go back and think if you're a parent, when you were at school, all you had was what you wrote in your book. Actually, now we're giving students and parents the ability to access all of those lesson presentations and everything that the student has been doing in class. So you can uh, use that to, to your benefit to, inc to uh, improve the learning environment um, and you know, outside of the building as well. So you can see here we have different projects that are available to the student at the moment. So if I just click on this one here, the French Year 9, and if I open that, now some subjects uh, will kind of structure this in a slightly different way, but it's very uh, easy to, to navigate and it's very intuitive. So if you look here, there are a number of different modules here, and all of these are linkable. So if I just click on the first one, uh, theme one, module one, me, my family, and my friends, it then will open up to the home page for that theme and, and, and for that module. Lots of different information here. You can see that it says that in this module you will learn how to describe family and friends, etc., etc. So it gives you an overview of what the students are going to be studying. But also the really important bit is down here, you can now see that actually there are all the lesson resources. So every single of those PowerPoint presentations for all those lessons is there. There's also in the middle the, uh, the model answer, which is a Word document. Uh, and also a vocabulary list on the right hand side. So a fantastic resource for, for us to be able to, to give you access to uh, outside of the building. So if I just go ahead and click on the first lesson here, and you will see that it will ask me if I want to save it and download it. That's great, and I can now open it. So I'm now opening the actual PowerPoint that that student will be actually uh, using uh, in the lesson with the teacher. So you can see here we've then got the, uh, the dirt slide to start with, uh, for, for, to be doing the, the corrections of the, of, of the, 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 the marked f uh, the feedback we've had from the teacher. They then move into the aims of the lesson and, and, and what that lesson is going to be about. So again, what a wonderful way to be able to see exactly what's happening. Um, and this is also great if, if a student has been off, you know, they've been ill, they've been you know, away for any reasons from school, um, and they can catch up on that work. Um, but also for, for, for parents to better understand what their students, uh, sorry, what, what their child has been doing uh, in, in, in the lesson that day. And then you can see as I'm, I scroll on the left-hand side, you've got all of the slides uh, that would be there in the lesson, and you can see exactly what they would be doing, uh, and that's fantastic. So if I just come out of there, 
and if we just go back up to uh, projects again and this time we're just going to go into the English one uh, to show you uh, a different way that it's been set out and you can see in here English have got all their lessons in the first tab there they've got extra resources the ages enhanced homework and the class homepage so if I just go into the lessons English have uh, the way they, they structure their lessons they have one uh, longer PowerPoint that, that will actually cover a whole uh, whole topic so if I just load this one you'll be able to see the difference if I open that one there you will see it's then where am I going so you know how is it you know what's gonna be happening in this topic it talks about the assessment objectives at the start we've then got the aims of the lesson very similar to, to how it was presented in, in, in French but if you can just look at the bottom here, you can see there's actually 75 slides there. So this is a this is a, a, a much longer PowerPoint that, that clearly is not going to be covered in one lesson, but is actually going to be covered over a whole uh, topic of work. And as we just scroll down there, you can see then the different lessons because there's different aims, um, and that goes all the way through there. Okay, if I go back here, if I just click on the arrow here at the end of the tab of the menu tab, you can see then it brings up uh, two more um, sections. So I'm just going to click on the homework section. And you can then see, just like on the app, you can see all the homework that is currently due for that student. So for any of the homeworks, you would just click on it, and you can also see when it was set, when the due date is, um, and the fact that you know it's overdue now. So you click on the on the homework itself. You can then see exactly what it is, who it's been set by, when the deadline date is, and there are sometimes a number of options. And if I, if you look here, this says this must be handed in, and that actually means physically handed in, so written or printed and handed to the teacher. Sometimes staff may select an upload box so you can actually upload the homework directly into eSchools rather than having to print it and hand it in. So please make sure you understand how that homework is due to be handed in. If it's an actual physical hand in homework, then there's a green button on the right hand side here that says mark as submitted. It's really important that when you've actually handed that homework in, you mark it as, as submitted so it then so it then it moves away from your uh, from your homework uh, due items. Because what it will do is if I mark that as submitted, it would then drop into my homework handed in tab. So if I click that, you can see all the homeworks that have actually been submitted by this student. Um, and very easy to then keep a track of what you still need to do and what you've already handed in. And really making sure that our students are really organized, but also as parents, you can see this. Now this is a, this is a feature that is available for parents and students, uh, both on the uh, website version like here, and also the app. Uh, so a really, really good way to stay on top of all the homework um, but also the projects like you've seen, the timetable, the school calendar, uh, the email, the messages. Um, and we, we're, we're really, really happy and we think it's a fantastic way to really bring that learning uh, a little bit more to life and to give access to it 24-7 uh, really outside of, the, outside of the school building. And that really promotes that anytime, anywhere learning, um, but also really promotes uh, parental involvement as well. If you have any questions at all or you'd like any, any technical help with anything, um, please uh, get in touch with the school uh, and, and, and get in touch with, with any of us at the school uh, or probably Mr. Knock, our IT development manager, via the usual channels. Um, and all of your details, if you haven't received them yet, will be coming out via an email or, or, and, and a letter um, very, very shortly. And um, you know, if, you, if you have any other questions, please let us know. Thank you very much indeed.